subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about how gradient descent helps in solving the optimization problem of linear regression. So the optimization problem, we already discussed this in our last class. So please watch that video and come back here. So before going into the concept, uh, let's refresh the concept of gradient descent. Why, why we use it gradient descent? We use it gradient descent in order to identify the minimum point of a function. So let's take y is equal to x minus 1 whole square plus 1. This is the function and this function looks like this. What's the goal of gradient descent? Identify the minimum point. What's that mean is at what value of x we are having minimum y. At what value of x we are having minimum y. This is what we have to identify. We have to identify the x value. At what value of x we are having minimum y. So what we did in our gradient descent, we don't know the x value, so randomly selected some x value. Let's say x is equal to 5. What we did here, at x is equal to 5, we found the derivative of this function at x is equal to 5. So at x is equal to 5, derivative means it will identify slope. Slope means a change in y by change in x. What's that slope? slope is positive when the slope will be positive at this point as x increases y increasing then slope will be positive as x increases at this point y decreasing then the slope will be negative so let's understand this as at this point as x increases y increasing means x is moving towards the maximum maximum y so what we have to do we have to reduce the x value Let's take x is equal to minus 2. At this point, as x increasing, y decreasing means what's our goal here? We have to find the minimum y value. y decreasing means y moving towards the minimum point. So we have to increase the x. If y is moving away from the minimum point, we have to decrease x. If y is moving towards the minimum point means increase x. That's what we got this formula. This already discussed in our last class. x nu is equal to x fold minus alpha into dy by dx. This is positive. If this is positive, we are reducing x value. If this is negative, negative into negative, negative into negative, which is positive, we are adding value to the x world means we are increasing x okay these concepts are already discussed let's take one more example and understand how gradient descent works so let's y is equal to x minus z minus 1 whole square so look at this x minus z minus 1 whole square here y depends on two variables what are those variables it depends on x and z so at what what's our goal of gradient descent here is at what value of x and z y is minimum at what value of x and z y is minimum this is what we have to identify using gradient descent so how we do this let's start with an example and understand how we do this so what we do in a gradient descent randomly select some values so we randomly selected x is equal to 10 and z is equal to 5 here. So substitute 10 minus 5 minus 1 which is 4. 4 square is equal to 16. This value is 16. So what we do here is keep z constant. So don't change z. z is 5. z is constant. Change x as x increasing 10 to 11 as x is equal to 11 at this point what's the y value 25 previously 16 we increased y x to 11 what's the y value we got 25 means as x increasing y increasing y increasing that means at, at this point x increasing y increasing okay and keep x is equal to constant and increase z increase z 10 keep x is equal to 10 and increase 5 to 6 10 minus 6 minus 1 which is whole square which is y is equal to 9 at z is equal to 6 when we increase the z value keeping x constant we are getting minimum we are the y value is reducing 
by decreasing. So this is the concept of partial differentiation. So we use partial differentiation concept if we are having more than one variable in our function. So the gradient descent equation is, what's the partial differentiation is? Let's understand that. x nu is equal to x old minus alpha into dou y by dou x. Dou means it's not d, it's not differentiation. Partial differentiation of y with respect to x. Whenever we are doing a partial differentiation with respect to x, make z constant. That is what we learned in our plus one plus two mathematics. Okay, and whenever we are doing d by by dou y by dou z, partial differentiation with respect to z, keep x constant. So what's happening here? If this differentiation value is positive, means when we increase x, y is increasing. What we have to do to get the minimum y? We have to reduce the x. That is what we learn here. So we are minusing we reduce the value by subtracting this value from x world the same way if if the slope is if if the this value differentiation value is negative means we have to increase the x the same way if the differentiation value is positive reduce z value if the differentiation value is negative increase the z value this is how we identify the x and z value at what uh, x and z value are moving towards the minimum y point. So we use partial differentiation concept for identifying the minimum y. So x and z values are adjusting towards the minimum y value. So this concept we use in our optimization problem. This concept we use in our optimization problem. So coming to our optimization problem, in our last class, we discussed about what linear regression is and what's the optimization problem is. So let's revise it once again. We took some data, we take uh, four data points. For simplicity, we take four data points. In reality, we are having thousands and thousands of points. So what's bill amount is X. What's tip amount is, we call it as y-axis. It's bill amount we mentioned in x-axis and tip amount we mentioned is y-axis. This is the actual data. Actual tip, actual tip, actual tip, actual tip. Actual bill amount, these are all. We can represent this data in two-dimensional coordinate axis. Black points are the data points. So what's the goal of linear regression is to identify a line that is having the minimum loss so what's loss means we already discussed this in our last class what's loss means let's say that these are the actual values these are the predicted values so actual minus predicted whole square and some all of them this is what the loss function which we discussed in our last class so yi is the actual value yi hat we call it as predicted value yi minus yi hat whole square sum them up this is what we call it as loss function so what how we predicted this value so what's the goal of linear regression is to identify a line that is having minimum loss so how we predicted this using a line so yi hat is equal to w1 equation of the line this is what the equation of the line w1x plus w0 substitute here yi minus w1xi plus w0 whole square this is what we call it as loss function l is equal to loss function now what's the meaning of this whole equation argument w1 w0 of L. At what value of W1 and W0? At what value of W1 and W0? Loss is minimum. That is what the optimization function meaning. At what value of W1 and W0? Loss is minimum. So look at this carefully. This is same like this function. Y is equal to X minus Z minus 1 whole square same like L is equal to yi minus w1 xi plus w0 whole square. Here we know, what we know here, we know the values of yi and xi. These are the actual data points which we collected. 
x1 y1 x1 y1 x2 y2 so on we collected four data points we know xi yi values what we don't know here is w1 and w0 values so our gradient descent now we can apply gradient descent to this because this is same like l is equal to yi minus w1 xi plus w0 whole square this is same as that equation how many variables we don't know here we don't know w1 and w0 we we don't know two variables we have to identify at what w1 and w0 we are having l minimum so now we can apply let's understand this graphically graphically do understanding that's give a better intuition let's take an example of this and understand it graphically what gradient descent do initially a lot randomly select some w1 and w0 values that is what we did here in every gradient descent what we do randomly select w1 and w0 values here so we let's say let's assume that i sell we selected 10x plus 1 10 means w1 value 1 means w0 value the equation of the line looks like this so our predicted values are red points located like this and our actual points are like here. So how we calculated the loss? The distance yi minus yi, yi hat whole square. We found the loss. Sum all of these distances. Square them and sum them up. That is what this equation is. We will find the loss like this. So what we do here is keep the keep the w0 constant and increase w1 when you increase w1 what's the equation of the line w1 says from our first few classes we learn w1 means a slope w0 means intercept when we increase the slope the line slope value will increase if you increase uh, w1 what's our loss is decreasing because line is moving near to the data points when the line is moving near to the data points loss is decreasing okay so we have to increase the w1 the same way keep the w1 constant and change w1 increase w1 if you increase w1 from 1 to 2 our line will go like this it will intersect at x w1 intercept at y value 2 means if you increase w0 value our line is moving near to the data points what's that mean is loss is decreasing so increase the w0 that is what the equations of gradient descent w1 new is equal to w1 old minus alpha into dou l by dou w1 which is partial differentiation whenever we are doing differentiation with respect to w1 make w0 constant whenever we are doing differentiation with respect to w0 make w1 constant we can adjust this w1 and w0 values to minimum loss what's our equation is l is equal to this equation at what w1 and w0 we are having minimum loss the same thing at what x and z values we are having minimum y the same similar equation okay you understand that and one more thing uh, we have to partially differentiate this uh, the partial differentiation do l means uh, yi minus w1 xi plus w0 whole square divided by with respect to do w1 whenever doing uh, partial differentiation with respect to w1 make w0 constant uh, the partial differentiation equation is minus 2 into yi minus w1 xi minus w0 into xi I am not telling you how to di differentiate this equation the similar equation we already explained how to differentiate this in our gradient descent class so please watch that video and you do your own differentiation okay and find this value 
so that you will get a better understanding what we are doing here. That's why I'm not doing the differentiation here. Like similarly, do L by do W naught is given as minus 2 into yi minus w1 xi minus w naught. This is what the differentiation value for do L by do w1 and do L by do w naught. So, so for suppose, let's understand one more concept. Initially, we select we are selecting w1 and w naught values. Let's suppose I selected w1 and w naught here. The line, the equation of the line looks like this. If I increase the w1, making w not constant, uh, slope increases. Now w1 is, if you increase the w1, slope increasing. Now this line is moving away from the data points, means loss increasing. What we have to do? We have to reduce the w1. That is what happening in this equations. So we use this gradient descent concept in identifying the W1 and W0. What's our optimization problem is? That's the optimization problem. At what W1 and W0 uh, we are having this minimum loss. Okay. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in your comment section below. And one more topic we have to understand here. How long we have to do this? We have to adjust W1 and W0. How long we have to do? Until convergence. W1 and W0 converge to the minimum point. What's convergence means? When we say that W1 is converged to minimum point, when W1 is not changing much, when W0 is not changing much, then we say that those two points are W1 and W0 are converged to minimum point. This we already discussed in gradient descent. So please watch all the videos and come back here. If you understand how we are solving using gradient descent or optimization problems, in all our machine learning models, we use gradient descent for finding this optimization problem, for solving this optimization problems. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.